Well, good day, Tubes. How's she going? So the first tour for the truck today, we got to go do some Christmas shopping and stuff. And uh, hmm, this kind of looks like Santa's sleigh. <laughs> the right color, anyways, pretty well. Um, I guess I guess my uh, little screen on my camera here, I'm looking at, just doesn't show that color the way it should be. I don't know. It looks more pinky, but on the video part, it looks okay. It seems to pick it out all right. So. Uh, we are going to open her up first here. Uh, that one. I just want to uh, have a look at the Deweys underneath the hood here and make sure everything's okay. Something's. I don't know what's making that noise. Something somewhere. Oh, this thing here. <laughs> and this little rubber thing here. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little rubber Dewey. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, sorry uh, for you non-Ford loving guys. Uh, figure you have to unsubscribe from Bill T. Max channel just because I bought a Ford, but uh, you know what, like, okay, ready, ready, watch this. It's not a perfect comparison, but okay, ready? Four wheels, metal body, somewhat of a metal body, <laughs> roof, windshield, roof windshield. I mean, really, if it freaking goes, does it really matter what you drive? Red, really don't like the color of them. <laughs> them turds up there. Go away! You are supposed to fly to Florida for the winter. Why are you still here? Freaking geese. So, I can give you a little better look in here. Oh, look at that mechanism in there. Holy cow, there's fuses and everything. That's crazy stuff in there. Crazy stuff. Uh, washer fluid. That's good. It's probably empty. Um, looks like some kind of computer system there. Holy. Um, 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 what else is under here? There's some of the turbo stuff and the intake and stuff. Um, um, I know the engine fill is over here. Oh, there's a stick way back there. All right. Yeah, I don't really know. I guess that's an engine transmission cooler or something. Oil cooler, engine oil cooler, maybe. But at least it's somewhat accessible in here. Not like, you know, buried behind a huge grill. There's a pretty strong looking nice frame under there. That's looking pretty slick. Um. Um, power, power brakes up here, it looks like. Could actually use a little bit, but, yeah. And coolant there, of course. Funny how it changes the color of the tank, that pink stuff in there. Wow. Yeah, uh, air, air cleaner under here, and this is where your turbo gets its, sucks its air as well. Um, so there'll be a lot of air get sucked through that, so it's probably going to have to be changed somewhat fairly regularly. So it looks like it's in a pretty good spot too, which is nice. These, I guess, just snap it off, yeah. Oh, look at that goo they put on here. Really? I don't know. If I like that, you can see it's already starting to get covered in dirt and stuff. It's not going to take long, that's for sure. And up in here is a really nice area, oops, where they put all your fuses and stuff. Well, that's pretty slick. Nice, easy to get to. It's not a perfectly sealed box, though, but, um, I mean, there's stuff going to get up through here onto your, to your main. Wow, that's a pretty short, from the battery to there, that's her. So, I guess if you're hooking up pff, something else, you could just, you know, run right into that, if you, you know, and then put an inline fuse. So, it doesn't really tell you which one's which, but it tells you the numbers here. You'd have to correspond with your book. Good. Um, other than that, uh... I don't know too much about it. I'm going to fire it up here and uh, should fire up with the uh, hood up like that. I know the electric remote start won't, but uh, so I don't know why some of you is just so against Ford. Um, if you look on any of the ratings websites and the sales, Ford is number one. Ford sold like 7,500 trucks, F-Series trucks, last year. Um, that's a lot compared to uh, 
I think Dodge was next and they were like 6200 or something and then uh, GM Sierra after that so um, poor old Ridgeline Honda stuff was way down <laughs> at the bottom <laughs> but uh, yeah, she's a good, uh, a good little runner. Hopefully, she's a good uh, truck to me. And uh, that looks like a factory F-150 Dewey there, so that's pretty sweet. But anyways, uh, today we are going Christmas shopping. take my camera in don't know if I'll get filming too much because it'll probably be really busy but uh, we're going to a place called Ikea and it's basically a flat package what do they call it flat package outlet store thing so basically if you want a computer desk it comes in like a small little tiny box all flat package they call it um, it's a pretty big industry there it's a freaking huge place my legs are gonna be killing me by the time we're done walking at all if we walk at all she doesn't really want too too much there but a couple other spots too she wants to go to so be a good little test for the truck today and uh, give her a good show uh, try out hopefully she's good I'm pretty sure it will be but uh, yeah but anyways uh, we're gonna head her out grab some coffee on the way and we'll catch you probably maybe on the way down too I don't know it's hard to say oh I got a second door here I'm gonna take my coat off mm, that's nice I like that that is sweet <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. So what's back here? We got a 12 volt cigarette lighter kind of thing. And an AC 110 volt 150 watt 110 plug. So if you had like, you know, not like this kind of plug, I guess. If you had like your housey plug that you bring to charge your cell phone or something, you could plug it into there. That's pretty awesome. So nothing cool under these things, but Pretty sweet, lots of leg room here too. I really enjoy that. And I got that seat back pretty far, like you can see mine's back past and she's got hers up quite a bit still. So that's pretty sweet, lots of room. And ice, hmm, maybe I should try to get that out. All right, so we got the Dewey uh, to the Ikea in Vaughan, that's called, uh, south of us here. 68 kilometers, 100, uh, 100 <laughs> one hour. <laughs> So that's pretty slick. Uh, it's not quite as nice of a GPS as like, you know, my phone where I could just look like look up like Ikea and it brings up the map and it shows you like all the Ikeas and you just it, click that one, that's what I want, boom, send me here. You gotta actually put the address in, in this, which is kind of crappy. Maybe there's another way to do it, I don't know. But uh, that's pretty slick though. So she'll guide me there probably the, didn't ask me which kind of route I wanted, so I guess she'll, you know, recalculate if I make a turn or whatever, but uh, pretty sweet. I really like this compartment too because it's a really good place to uh, put my camera down. <laughs> Fits in there absolutely perfect actually. Pretty sweet cup holders and stuff. I'm not really too sure what this little wee thingy here is for. Maybe a garage door opener or something? I don't know. Seems kind of strange but um, it's like a same size opening that you know this thing's for so I don't know if there was like another trim package that something else might have been in there but uh, I'm not really too sure how that is or works or whatever whatever that was for but oh she's a pretty slick unit <laughs> and you even get a dewy like that that you can tilt it get a bit of air or with a tilt back down our shell open right up. Ooh. That's pretty neat. That's another one of the trim features. Apparently that feature there, I'll have to show you the build sheet later. It was $800 I think it was for that for that uh, roof. That's craziness. Auto close too. Kinda like that. Plus I really like this. Okay, ready? Auto down, most vehicles have that. Not a lot that I know of have the auto up too. So you're not sitting here, <laughs> come on, hurry up. It just goes on her own. Nothing's auto down too. I don't know if it's auto up. Oh, it is too. <laughs> Sweet. I don't think our other truck that we rented had that, but 
And this is pretty cool. Power folding mirrors. Pretty uh, freaking done up truck. Well, actually, you know what? I got that build sheet here. I'm still waiting for the wife to come out, so let's have a look at her. Okay, so he downloaded this for me and uh, printed it up for me so I knew what it had. Uh, it's exterior, uh, door handles, color, key, color keyed, fog lamps, front tow hooks, grill, black bar style, pickup box, tie down hooks, privacy glass rear, tailgate lift assist, that's the tailgate, tailgate removal with lock, with lock, oh yeah, I see. Uh, wheel lip moldings, interior, floor mats, rubber, rubber black mats, that's these fellers, I guess, here. Uh, nope, that's right. Outside temp, compass, seat, heat, power, driver, Cirrus, XM, Siri, Siri, oh, you know what I mean, holy crap. XM satellite radio, six months prepaid subscription, which is definitely worn out now, but anyways, I'm not too crazy on that. Uh, steering wheel leather. Uh, sync voice activated system and tachometer. Yeah, well, there's the, the dewey whenever she focuses. Uh, functional. Uh, come on, baby. 4x4 system. AC dual zone. Uh, electronic ABS power. Four wheel disc. Easy easy fuel filler. Dewey. Uh, electric locking rear axle. Oh. Elect. I guess that means electric locking rear axle. Oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. Uh, hill descent control. My Ford Touch. That's just screen Dewey. Uh, REM keyless entry. Keypad reverse. Sensing system, that's the doo -doo 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 -doo. that freaks out on you. Uh, skid plates, holy cow, we can take her in the dunes. Not. <laughs> speed control, tilt steering. Speed control, I guess, is like cruise control. Tilt steering, uh, trailer tow package, that's awesome. Window doors, power motor, when windows, doors, mirrors are powered. Uh, safety airbags, driver and passenger airbags, side airbags, child, uh, latch child resistance system, passive anti theft system, personal safety system. Roll stability control, and you get a three year 60,000 kilometer basic, five year 100,000 kilometer powertrain, roadside assistance for 24 hours. Uh, where are we here? Oh, I read that one. Uh, so they're claiming in the city you should get 14.1. Uh, I'm at well, 18.1, a little higher now, because um, I'm sitting here running. 20 miles to the gallon and on the highway you should be ah, 29 for freak sakes holy crap um, so overall vehicle score you get a four frontal crash you get um, not that many side crash you get tons apparently roll over you only get three so that's not good don't roll her over and uh, let's see here equipment group uh, 402a fx4 series rear view camera Trailer brake controller, FX luxury package, heat cooling front seat, power driver and pa passenger seat, universal garage door opener. Oh, that's probably under this thing, I bet. No, that's here. Glasses. You know, oh, this thing here. How to be this guy here? Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. I have to program that. I know I don't really have a. I do have a power garage door, but there's no point in programming it for that. Um, he, HID headlights, electronic auto, temp controls, power adjust pedals, which, yeah, they're pretty cool. There's a little Dewey right here. A little button here, so you push that, and then your pedals move and stuff. Um, where the heck was I now? Power adjust pedals, power sliding rear window, remote start, Sony single CD sync. That's in there, CD Dewey. Um, optional equipment, 20, okay, here's all the cool stuff, ready? <laughs> 2013 model year, federal excise, excess tax, $100. Ruby red, the paint alone was another $300. Uh, select shift transmission, EcoBoost, there you go, EcoBoost, 5.3.5 V6 engine, $1,250 extra for that. Uh, blah, 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 all terrain, 420, whatever that is. Um, there's the, uh, no charge for the... 373 gear electronic rear axle. Uh, Ontario environmental charge, $28. Power moonroof. So the power, the power roof on the top here, the glass, $1,300. <laughs> Navigation system, $700. Trailer tow package, $700. Tailgate steps, another $300. Wow. 
and 20 inch aluminum wheels. So all said and done, before your taxes and all that scrap, uh, what is this here? 136 liter, 36 gallon fuel tank. Wow, huge. Uh, so there's your um, no charge base price and then your options. It's had almost $10,000 worth of options on it. So the grand total would be down here before your taxes and manufacturer says it's retail price. This price has been developed as a guide. Dealers may sell for less and not under any obligation except this blah, blah, blah. So $58,000 truck here. <laughs> plus tax, plus your freight, plus your PDI, plus your holy crap. So that probably would have been about 65000 I would say, but I all said and done. Maybe a little more even, maybe almost 68 maybe with the tax. I don't know. All the other crap they load onto it. Oh, there it is here, actually. Oh, no, that maybe is the right price, though. Uh, total vehicle options and destination and delivery, yeah. And of course, tax on that again, too. This is not intended for sale, registration in the U.S. Retail prices exclude GSD, HAT. So, on top of this 58000 you'd put another 13%. So, yes, that's a pretty expensive, nice truck. Oh, they're using one of them real long, huge arm backhoe digger machines over here. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get them. Come on, bud, hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry. I don't know what they're digging, but it must be something really huge. Oh, mud pond or something. Oh, that thing's like massive, huge, long. <laughs> 30, 40 foot reach probably on that thing. Oh, sweet. Look at our exit number. Highway 7. But, uh, it's exit 29. <laughs> oh, boy. I had not even planned that, honestly. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. But the nav system's worked pretty good. She hasn't really said anything, though, so... Which is kind of, sort of odd. Maybe I gotta turn that on or something. I don't know. The text, uh, voice by turn or whatever you call that. So, yeah, but it, she works pretty good. Looks like I gotta get off here. If I don't, I'll be on Finch Avenue. I don't want that, so... That's pretty cool. I guess I better slow down, too. We're coming up to the light here. Oh, crap. So this is... Oh, look, there's a UFO! Holy crap! I think it's a theater, actually. It's a... Uh, oh, Colossus, maybe? I can't remember what that one is. It is a Colossus, yes. It's a big, big alien spaceship movie theater thing. Kind of sweet. I remember way back in the day, you know, when Orangeville was a nothing, basically, which, well, pretty much still is a nothing, but anyways, you had to come way down here to one of these new bigger places to see a movie on, like, a huge mother big screen, you know, compared to, well, we had a movie theater in town, but it was, like, you know, the size of my freaking, you know, computer monitor kind of thing now, 42-inch or something. It was pretty lame. But, um... You know, it was a little bigger than that. <laughs> I remember going to the very first Batman, and it was packed. Somebody offered me like $15 for my seat because I was like the very front row. And I'm like, no freaking way. <laughs> so go find somewhere else, bud. So, uh, you know, and it was only like six bucks to get in then or something like that. But, you know, good old days when movie it was theaters. Four twenty-five. Four. That's right. And then you had to pay and then go wait outside. In the freezing cold, and then they let you in after the, the other movie got out, and then uh, yeah, it was kind of kind of funny and lame. But I hope this is the driveway. Oh, not quite, but it'll get us there. I kind of goofed there a little bit, but it'll get us there. So we are at the IKEA. There's a bunch of other crap down here too. Oh yeah, I want to go straight and enter. Bunch of other crap here too, and there. Oh, AMC Theater. As well, I've never been to that one, but they like their movies here, I suppose. I don't even know if this one's still open. It kind of sort of almost maybe doesn't really look like it maybe is. I don't know. The AMC's been tore off the building. It just says 30 theaters. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's a pretty big building for a theater. Oh, there's a good test for suspenders. Oh, yeah. It didn't clunk or bang or hammer or rattle or nothing. Holy crap. So there is the big Ikea. We'll take the cameras in and it's probably going to be really busy and I'll probably get a lot of people looking at me like, What are you doing? 
but um, <laughs> it's cool because they got like all these little, you know, like a like a bedroom setup, right? So if you want, say, the dresser from that bedroom that they've got set up, you write down their little number that's on that item, on the little sheet thing you can give you. And then uh, after you go through all their housing thingies and all the other crap and stuff in here, then you uh, go downstairs, give them your little salesy sheet, and Swedish meatballs. Holy cow, really good. Oh, they're expensive now. Well, $3.99 monthly. Yeah, that's not too bad. Um, wicked salty though, I think they were. Uh, yeah, and then you give them your little your little ticket, and uh, or your page, and then you uh, they pick your order out for you, or I think you can pick some of it too. Up yeah, that's right. Stuff. We'll show you all that. Holy crap, Christmas trees. And uh, since I got a really nice looking truck, I'm not wanting to park way over these idiots. So I'm going to park way the freak over here. And the wife's going to hate me. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going that far away. Just, you know. Boonie land. Maybe 10 or 15 square miles away. We'll go over here somewhere. Somewhere. Uh, right, actually, I see it right here, right now. This is actually not really too bad in here right now. Usually this place is just packed. That spot right there right inside the cart corral. At least I only have to worry about one side getting smashed. Unless they smash the front of me. They're friggin' not. So, cart corral is there. I'm gonna take two spots and be a knob. That'll do her. Sweet. That is the weirdest shopping cart I've ever seen. It's like a shopping cart and then you get these plasticky weird looking bag thingies that you throw all your crud in there. They do have stuff you can pick up off the shelves and stuff, but any big stuff you gotta write down. Oh, we didn't get a card thing. Yeah, all over the place. Yeah, pencil, a little pencil and a little card they give you and then plenty of the big stuff. That's how you do that, so. Whoa, Nelly, hold on to her. Kids eat free Thursday. Oh. Oh! Ooh, showroom. Okay, no, we're not in my bathroom. <laughs> so there's a shopping list, Dewey. You uh, write your product name and number, the price, how many you want, the aisle, and the bin number. And if you look on their Dewey's here, that's the number, that's the aisle, and that's the bin number. So, and that's, you know, what you get. And when we get downstairs, it's all categorized as that. So everything in here is for sale. You can even buy the towels, <laughs> if you want. I like these towels, I want them. Okay, they are, um, turn over for more info. Pick up in this product in the market hall, bedroom textiles, pretty sweet. So they got room after room after room of things set up like this. Like, I don't see a thing on the bathtub here, but it just adds to the, the dewy, you know, so. And into like a bedroomy kind of thing. Sliding wardrobe, do we even got shirts in here ready to show you and stuff? And you can buy the hangers. Home, organi home organizations. That is pretty sweet. They even got fake props. Laptop props. <laughs> e props. <laughs> Not even a real keyboard, just a metal shell or a plastic shell. Ned. Are they nice and soft? as soft as I thought they would be. Probably fake, that's why. They've got skin. Oh, I don't know, I can't read all that. Do not wash, do not bleach, do not use, do not look at, do not, I don't know. We're in the chairing department. That is a chair I would be so flat on my butt. Yeah, I don't know about that. Sweet. I haven't got anything in my shopping list yet, though. Mm, look at this thing. Holy, what is that? That looks kind of rude. Hmm. I don't know if I like that or not. Chair testing as well. Let's see what this says here. To ensure the safety and durability, nearly all IKEA products go through an intensive quality testing according to international standards. During the development, living room chairs are put through a different strength and durability test. Simulating sitting, moving, and getting up. These tests involve loads up to 100 kilograms, 220 pounds onto these chairs and more than 10 types of tests. These chairs will only be approved if they withstand the tests, still function as well as before. Quality test is part of the IKEA's promise. So yeah, uh, one of them, one of the machines here actually was counting how many times it's done it. This one doesn't seem to, but kind of by the way the looks of the wear on that belt on the top, she 
It's had a lot of seats put on them. That's kind of cool. Oh, a whole kitchen. This whole kitchen's like the size of our one friggin' room in our house. It's horrible. Oh, look, boy, they got a Dewey here for you. It's a little bit bigger. Yeah. It's all dusty, though. Someone's been, Someone's been doing, their, doing their cocaine or something in there. Holy crap. Maybe. Jason. Uh, no. Oh, yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Oh. This is like a dental holder. Panned. That's what you call pan fried. So, yes, um, pretty sweet. If you want to buy these cupboards, uh, open and discover. Oh, cookies and everything in here. Sweet. Sweet cookies in microwave. That's actually a fairly beefy size microwave. Hmm. Nice. I wonder how you do your venting, though. I don't know. I don't like that too much, but. Sweet. Clothes, kids' boots and stuff. And uh, fishing rods. Huh. Cool. It's like a whole little apartment set up here. Bathroom, shower and stuff. Pretty small shower. I don't think I'd be able to have a shower in here. Nope. That's it. It's just for display though. Sweet. Tiny, tiny, tiny little guy. Holy crap, that's even actually a really a real dryer or washing machine, I guess. Huh. I didn't know they made them that small. That's pretty sweet. Now sometimes you spin them fast enough. That one doesn't do it. Ours at home does. If you spin it, everything goes and lights up here. It's kind of funny. Holy crap. That is really cool. I really like this little guy. Yeah, she's got a drain hose and everything. That's a real washing machine. See, sometimes you can't tell if stuff's real here or not. That's cool. Linen closet Dewey, or what do you call it for your dirty clothes? That's a good idea. Under the bedroom. Oh, bedroom stuff. Sweet. Oh, they're working on a whole pile of new displays here and stuff. Some of it's kind of closed down in the kitcheny kind of area, but. Uh, Oh well, that's the way she works. I like this kind of island thingy, but I guess they're still kind of working on it and stuff. Got all these like hidden sort of Deweys, believe it or not. And here there's a dishwasher. <laughs> that's kind of sweet. Kind of sweet, but yeah, they're doing all the all the stuff. Big old lazy Susan in here and stuff. All your junk on. That's kind of cool. Oh well, next department. Looks like kitchen sinks and stuff. Oh, that's an old fashioned -y looking one. That's kind of sweet. This one's a pull out and spray in the face kind of dewy. Yeah, this one's kind of neat. It's got a pull off and kind of just sort of hangs there. Hmm. But yeah, that's not a cheap one. 200 bucks. That's not bad, I guess. For, for a tap. <laughs> for a tap. Ooh, pretty much the same on this side, different finishes. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. Mmm. have to cut a bigger hole in my sink. Kitchen sink, though. Aw, little light doobies. Aww. You have to play with the ones that's on. Well, I don't know what kind of plug that is, but that's not right. Oh, there's one on up here, though. Oh. Oh. Pretty hot little light, actually. Hmm. $13 for a light. It's not too bad. Bender in any any possible configuration, I guess you wanted. Okay, we gotta sit down and edit our video here, boys. <sighs> Whoa. <laughs> oh wow, I cannot tell which key is which. Q W E R T Y. I can't remember after that. Oh, I want a Huh. Sweet, and then I can tell where I am too. Holy crap. Well, that's kind of cool. Glass top table, $69. 148 centimeters by 73 centimeters glass fingerprint pattern. Kind of thing. That is pretty sweet, and it's all like 
printed underneath. 70 bucks for a whole sheet of glass. Ooh, lunch of champions. She chose the, the better one, of course, but I like my balls of fat. They're pretty good. Don't get them too often, so. I have balls of fat. Mashed potatoes, yeah, they might have gluten in them, so she can't have them, but um, $5.99, freaking sweet. I think that was like $32.99 or something. I don't know, can't remember now, but pretty good deal. Under 20 bucks for two luck for lunch. That's not too bad. Well, that crap wasn't cool, and we gotta drink our milk by <laughs> December 29th, of course. Holy crap. Pretty cool store here too when we come in. There's a place where mom and dad can dump the kids off. <clears throat> leave them in there to play and all that cool stuff. And then, uh, I guess that kid's number six. That kid's number, I don't know, can't tell. And uh, yeah, mom and dad go shopping and then you come uh, pick your kids up. Or if you forget to pick them up, I guess they sell them into the store somewhere. I don't know. Okay, lunch is good. Oh, shopping cart parking only. Uh, now we're gonna head her actually downstairs. This is all the furniture kind of stuff upstairs here in the cafeteria. And uh, downstairs, like all the uh, small stuff, like your utensils and oh, I hate these things. Utensils and thingies like that. So um, let's go have a look down there. We got Wi Fi. Well, plates, cups, dishes. Hmm. That looks like a. Mm -hmm. Anyways, uh, all kinds of cool stuff down here. Holy crap! Dishes and plates and holy crap! Cups. Oh, dangerous area. Oh, where's the big Rambo sword? It's got to be one of these along here. That's a fork. That's no good. Rambo wouldn't use that. Yeah, that's too small. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, man. Sorry, Rambo, you're out of luck, bud. That's getting close. Not quite, though. Oh, shovels and stuff. And shark fins. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And big thingies. Kit thingies. And pot thingies. Man, we got everything here except groceries. You could live here. This would be awesome. Bedrooms, kitchens, computer rooms, TVs, everything. They've got some really sweet lights here, let me tell you. If you'd want something like this hanging in your house. Not me, I'd probably burn the thing off. <laughs> uh, boring lights, and these ones are kind of cool. <clears throat> hmm. Neat. Neat, neat, neat. Very neat. Oh, they even got like these huge, like arena sized pot light things over here. Holy crap, that thing's huge. How much? 90 bucks. Wow, then you need that special bulb too. Oh, well, that sucks. I want to see something funny. It's very static in here. Ready? Ay! <laughs> they even got plants. Buy your miniature Christmas trees here, even. Kind of thing. Holy cow. Lots of plants, lots of plants, lots of plants. And then we're into a self-service, self-serve furniture area where we're going to get actually one of those laundry things we looked at well, earlier on there. <laughs> you got yourself. <laughs> oh, funny, funny. Holy vase. Okay, we got to get out our shop and dewy thing here. What was it now? Do you remember the number? Aisle 20. <sighs> 61. Aisle 20, bin 61. Okay, so there's aisle four. <laughs> uh, we got a long way to go. So, yeah, basically, you know, if I had a, um, whatever aisle this is, and then number 61, whoops, sorry. That's your, that's your Dewey. Oh no, look at the freaking number on it. Holy crap, you gotta be kidding me. Jeez. The only one I pick and it's got a freaking two nine in it. Can you believe that? Okay, we gotta find aisle 20. Okay, 20, 20, 20, 23, 21, 19, huh? Oh, wait, 16, 18, 20, okay. Then we need uh, bin 61 when we get down 20. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20
He's in there. It weighs like 500 pounds. Um, yeah, so I might have to uh, carry this, so I probably won't be able to video much more after this. Bin 61. Did you find it? Did you find uh, it? That's $45. 61. Uh, no, that's the not door. right. door. Oh. Let's just look for the picture. Oh. Hmm. 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 12. 61. Oh, crap. Bin 61. Whatever that means. Yeah, that can't be right. They're all 61. Hmm. Wait, what was your... Uh, 102 46. 102, this is 802. Huh? What? Are you sure you're in the right aisle? You're in 22 here, dear. It's on the other side. That's why. This is 22. This 20 is over here. Bin 61. Look at that. There's still 61s everywhere. Oh, wait a minute. 102. <laughs> hmm. 102062. Holy crap. Okay, this was supposed to be easy. Apparently, apparently we can't handle this. Hang on. We'll find it. Oh, that makes more, more sense. We're freaking noobs here, right? So, freaking noobs. I all been 49, 51, 52, 54, 55, 57, 60, or 58, 60. Been 61. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. Yeah, that's gonna suck. She's having trouble pulling it out. Holy crap! I guess I better put the camera away. Okay, we'll see you probably when we get back out of the truck. Man, they even go up to the ceiling with stuff here. All package, package. And I guess they bring her down here and refill air. But she got smart. Use the cart. That thing weighs like 200 pounds. Wouldn't think there'd be that much weight in there, but holy freaking crap. So now we got to get out of here. And uh, yeah, here we go. Well, there's the downfall of the shorter box. But you know, I'd really rather have a shorter box than a, than a you know, or a shorter box rather than a shorter cab. You know, a longer box, shorter cab, right? So now it's nice to have the nice huge ass full size cab. So freaking nice. Okay, we have to go to Costco and then we're heading home. Okay, how much is this car worth ahead of us here? It's a, hang on, wait till we catch up to him again here. It's a Porsche. Turn left onto Highway 7. No, it's not turn left on Highway 7. Porsche Panorama GTS. How many dollars? How many dollars? Without looking it up. How many dollars? 150 grand? 200 grand? I don't know. No idea. It's a freaking Porsche, man. I take my Ford over a Porsche any days, I think. Oh, sorry, I can't remember what I said, but it's a Porsche. Panamera. Panamera? Panamera. I don't know. GTS. I don't know. Okay, we just come out of Costco there. This is absolutely freaking insane in here. Busy, busy, busy. I got some pictures, of course, you've seen. You should see what I got for you guys. All for you guys. So I know you guys enjoyed the Kinders and you guys in the States can't get them. So I got a whole box of them. Awesome. I got two large ketchups, huge ketchups for like six bucks for uh, what's that, a liter? 2.84 liters. My wife wants to make some uh, barbecue sauce. And look at this. Creme de la creme, a freaking roast. Look at the size of it compared to my hand. It's freaking huge. And I got, you know, fairly ape sized hands. You know, it was expensive, but we're gonna cut it like four or maybe even pie it again, depends how big they are, and make like, you know, six roasts out of this for us. So, a sirloin tip hole, <laughs> throw that whole thing on the barbecue just for me. Oh, yeah. But, anyways, uh, we're gonna hit her home. Uh, probably won't feel much on the way home. I, we gotta get home, get the kids and stuff. And uh, here we go. This guy waiting for my spot even. That's insane. Just just dying. I'm gonna go straight out, I think. The heck with this backing up crap. He's just sitting back there just dying for my spot. He, he watched <laughs> me take my cart back. <laughs> oh, oh, that's funny. Look at him. Look at him waiting. Well, he's got a lineup just, started. Just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. But a little does he know, I've still got to back out of here and he probably isn't living me out of room. Freaking knob. So, we'll head her home. Cut up some, cut up some roast. Ow. 
Well, made her home, made her home, made her home, made her home. No sweat. Now, it's just kind of looking and I'm like, oh, I remember reading this thing had like a electric locked rear axle. Well, that's pretty sweet. So I was just looking at the uh, control thingy. Oh, you know what else this truck should do? Hang on a sec here. Um, oh, I'm, what was that under? Yeah, it even tells you. Hey, <laughs> this is so cool. It even tells you what I've got the steering turned to. So we got to straighten her up. There, zero. <laughs> you know, and then back and forth. That's, that's pretty cool. Now, you know what else it does too? Let's back her up here. Oops, sorry for the, the zoomed. Oop, I guess I better put it in R. Okay, so what else this does is, let's find, so we'll, you'll, you'll use this heap of dirt here, okay? We'll use this heap of dirt. Okay, I haven't got her in four-wheel drive, but. Okay, watch these two gauges here as I go up the dirt here. Oh, hang on. I think I missed it. What the heck? Who's driving this rig? Hang on, I missed the dirt. <laughs> yes, I did miss the dirt. I can't see where I'm freaking going here. Okay, let's get her over here. Okay. All right, now. This tells you actually what angle your vehicle is sitting at, too. Oh, I might have to lock her in four-wheel drive. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> I like that idea. Not that I'd probably ever use it too much, but that's kind of cool. Now, let's see. Let's just get her over here. Still got the reverse camera going. Okay, let's get her over here now. So there's your 4 by 4s button there. So apparently you pull this out. Oh, yeah, I can see that. That's cool. Let me watch this. Pull that button out. Locked. <laughs> and turn it to 4, four low. Shift in progress. Oh, shift in to neutral. Shift in progress. Okay. Shift delay, pull forward. Oh, there we go. Now she's locked in. Holy crap. So we got four-wheel drive and the rear axle locked now. That should technically climb up the side of a tower if you wanted it to. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, that's a bit scary. Okay, put her back in neutral. Put it back to too high. Shift in progress. Yep. Turn that Dewey off. Unlock the, the axle. Got to really not have that on dry pavement, that's for sure. That is pretty freaking cool, let me tell you. There's stuff that this thing does that there's probably no real need at all to have, but she does her. She does her. Pretty sweet. Okay, well, I said I was gonna chop up this uh, roast beef, uh, get a big huge hunk of roast beef here um, inside. Um, I'm not gonna put it on today's video though. I'll put that on a separate video because I know some of you probably won't wanna see that. Don't ask me, uh, you know, I kinda wanna make everybody happy, but if you wanna see it, I'll make up another video just for chopping the roast beef, I'll call it, okay? Uh, so yeah, I just kinda thought of it on the way home. Some people may be kinda not liking that, so. Um, I'll make a separate video. So anyways, uh, for this one today, I guess that's it for today. Uh, that was a busy shopping day. I like going down there, but I hate driving down there. It's freaking horrible. It's like, holy crap, that Costco was freaking insane. I've seen busy, busy before, but that was just stupid. Like, I'm where we parked there, I was freaking amazed. I actually got that, like, holy cow, but whew, wow. Must be just a busy area, I guess, there. So, but anyways, uh, tomorrow, uh, oh no, no oh, tomorrow's Farm Sim Saturday. I forgot, I'm out of a week already, holy crap. Huh, but anyways, uh, maybe uh, Monday, I guess, we'll hang up that mailbox. Um, should be good to go now, just gotta mark the, the wall in there and drill and uh, put those um, 
anchor bolt Dewey's in, tighten her down, and uh, she's going to be in service. So, oh, she might want some names put on it too. Maybe we'll do some vinyl in or something on it and uh, name it a little bit. But uh, anyways, for today, that's it for today. We'll catch you catch you Monday, and uh, I'll put up that um, meat chopping video probably a little bit after this one's up or something. So uh, you can check her out. Uh, just kind of don't want to put those two together kind of thing. We'll make that a separate. So, uh, But anyways, have a good night. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you Monday. Or meet in a few minutes. <laughs> okay, have a good night. Thanks for watching. Oh, and a good weekend. Oh, sorry, Tubes. Nearly forgot. We got a Kinder to open. Kinder to open. I almost forgot. And these are 2014 toys. Oh boy. So let's crank them open. These are of course of course just the little mini ones. That's all they have there today. So but this is like like the whole display like you find in the store. So you um you just open her up like this. Something Something like this. Like that, and then you sell them for a dollar fifty or dollar sixty a piece. And I paid twenty-one bucks, I think it was, for all of these. So okay, let's just start here. Kinder surprise. And they've got this new way they wrap these things, it's a lot different. It kind of sucks that you guys in the States they don't uh, sell these. Actually, illegal to have these apparently in the states. It's like really, I don't know. I guess they got their thinking about it. But there's the toy. That's why they don't sell it in the states apparently because it contains no nutritional value on the inside. Well, duh. Okay, what the heck did we get here? Looks like a dragony kind of guy. Okay, uh, there's actually that was the instruction. So we got to take the little blue Dewey here, put on his set of wing thingies, somehow, that's interesting, this one is uh, a little different, um, I guess this hole here, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so this has got to go in there. And then his head piece Dewey. Looks like it smushes down there. And there we go, we got a flying dragon guy. That's pretty sweet. Gotta get them, collect them all. There's, well, there's four of them by the looks of things. And we've got the yellow one here, yellow and blue. Green and whatchamacallit, blue and green, and then red. Ooh, I like the red one. He's all textured, too. Maybe he's in this package. Who knows? But anyways, thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.